<laughs> Sam is on a CBS in Richmond, Virginia. He has been in Southern Living. He introduced the Container Garden Program to the Virginia Governor's Mansion, and he's a container gardening expert. So welcome, Sam Harris, Good to the stage. Good morning. It's nice to have you here. Tell me where you're from, ma'am. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Good morning. Good morning to you. Where are you from? New York. New York. New York. New York. A student at the school. I'd like for you to meet Phoebe. Phoebe, come on down. Everybody, round of applause for Phoebe, a student at University of Delaware. Come on over here, Phoebe. Come right on over here and jump up on stage. Phoebe, you're right here. And the next person I'd like to introduce is that tall guy. Look over there. Wave your hands. Come on up. That's him. He's bringing some more stuff for us today, guys. This is Pat. Pat is a student at the University of Delaware, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his work in just a bit. And uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is um, an IT information technology specialist at the University of Delaware. And Sandy McVeigh is an instructor. She teaches programs all over the, air, the region. I always fell on to someone. Tell us about this. Sandy, look at her. She's the politician. She's trying to get that vote. Hey, Sandy, tell us, tell us about what you do at the university. Oh, I teach faculty how to use all okay. sorts of technology, from Google Apps to Microsoft Office to our course management system. But the other side of me loves floral, gardening, flowers, everything. I took a class this winter session and through a connections, I'm here today. And so I hope to impress you with what I learned in my class. I'd like you to tell us a little bit, what are you, where are you, are you a senior, Pat? Tell us what you do. Uh, I'm a senior at the University of Delaware. I'm a landscape horticulture and design major. Uh, yeah, it's going right on up there. Right on up here? Right on up there. This is your <laughs> chance to shine. Uh, I grew up down at the beach, uh, down at Bethany Beach. Uh, I grew up loving coastal plants and Surfing my life away. So. Uh, surf, so you surf. You still I do. surf. Yep. So, 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 what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What are your plans for the next four or five years? Uh, I'm actually planning on going into the Naval Academy and doing applied sciences for that. Okay. So. Okay. Well, good. Well, congratulations Thank to you. you. Good luck to you. You know, Phoebe. Phoebe, Thank what year are you in at the university? Hi. Uh, I'm a senior and I'm studying Hi. landscape design, and I've been working for florals for the past three years. I thought this was going to be like cut flowers. I didn't oh, you know. did? I wonder why. Did someone tell you that? I didn't know it was going to be um, potted. Flowers, well, you know what? But... That's, that's great. I love it when something goes wrong and you show up and it's not what you think. You know that? Yeah. Because, because that's the way life is, you know, in container gardening. I'm glad, that, I'm glad that happened to you. That's a positive. The one thing that you find in container gardening is that things can die, things can go wrong, the pot can break, the party can be tonight, and things don't look good, the garden center don't have what you want. What do you do? You have to improvise. So, with you, you're going to also be involved in something that is going to be a part of Cut Flowers for Container Gardening. And because she was misunderstood that, then you're going to have a special thing that no one else is going to have that's going to be part of your container. How about that? That I will accommodate you and, 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 and give her some Cut Flowers. Well, so well, don't worry well. about it. Okay. You put holes in the bottom where he is pointing. Uh, there, like there, three, like three, about three, like like about the size of a quarter. Yeah, quarter size. Okay. Um, in the bottoms for drainage. So oh. when you put the water in, it'll drain through and get down to all the roots, and the excess water will drain off. Good deal. Then, is there anything else that you put in besides besides just holes and you put rocks, right? Yes. You know what a little secret I have, and I like that because your answer is right. A little secret that I have found is if you go to the dollar store and you pick up one of those dollar pasta colanders that strain the noodles, and you put that upside down in the bottom of the pot, over the holes, then your rocks, then you have that air there. 
and you don't have to spend and waste your money on that valuable soil bottom. If this is sitting on your patio, Phoebe, would you just set it on the patio just like that? No, you can lift it up a little bit, put it on a, another little plate or something. Okay, so how, how much how much airspace would you would you give it underneath there? Uh, a couple of inches, I guess. What do you use to pop it up with to elevate it a bit? Just like a block of block of wood. I don't know. Well, that's okay. Anything to elevate it so that you have so it's not just pressed again, so that your water actually drains. That's started. Now the nice thing that we're, next thing we're going to do now is is we are going to pick out your first plant that you'd like to plant. It can be a really big plant or a small plant. Let's just plant a plant. How are you doing? Tell me your name and where you're from. I'm Jules Breck and I'm their professor. You're, oh, Jules, get up here. Well, <laughs> this is their professor. <laughs> I didn't know that. I told them I wanted you to introduce me. I wanted to meet you and I just happened to see you standing there. Now, Jules, this is great. You're the professor there in the horticulture program. Can you take that and just hold it like that and, and, and tell us, tell us, how long have you been with the university? I've been with the university since 2006. Okay. And I'm in the landscape horticulture and design program. Okay. okay. And I teach landscape design and okay. construction and um, the technology classes as well. So what are some of the first things? If I were just coming into the school right now and knew nothing about landscape uh, design, what are some of the first things that people learn? The first thing that people learn, and actually another class that I teach is field sketching. So we actually take them outside and we teach them how to be very good observers of nature, of their surroundings, and they learn how to sketch. Okay, okay. so you really get in tune with what's there. And you know, do you understand that whole thing about like, like um, depth pollution and how to make something look bigger and better than it is? To a, to a degree. What are you going to ask me? Well, about containers. You know, <laughs> okay. when it comes when it comes to containers, uh, this is a small container for me in my work. My big containers are. I'll show you a picture. Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I what, no, no, I'm just going to set this right here, okay? And what I want you to do is, if you're on stage, I need to go back to the store room and pick something up. So what I want you to do is tell us about your students. How many? How many? How many? I mean, are, there, are the classes big? Are they small? I mean, how many classes do you teach? Is this like 12 years, 12 months out of the year? Are you semesters? I'll be right back. Don't worry about it. And if you want anything to do, you could, there's a song I sing. Good morning, good morning. Do anything. Tap dance. I'll be right back. So I'll tell you a little bit more about my students and my program. Uh, we have I teach a four-year undergraduate degree, and the students usually come in. In, either as a freshman, like my student here, Pat, who has been in my program since his freshman year, and he's about to graduate, he's a senior, so it's been great to watch him grow up in the program and learn a lot. Um, or Phoebe, who I think transferred in her junior year, and um, but generally it's a four-year degree program. And, and, and do you guys go out to the community and do like field trips and studies outside? Well, our big community engagement project is the Philadelphia Flower Show. So the right. students have been working with the Brandywine Conservancy. They've been meeting with people and learning about some environmental problems. And our display is, this year is all about the shad 
and um, the idea that we want more biodiversity in the Brandywine region. So the Brandywine Conservancy is one of our big community projects. And they're located over on that side. They're like up against that wall. And I've seen it. nice and neat, and that way it makes a wonderful presentation here on your patio. Let's round of applause for Phoebe! Round of applause for Pat! Round of applause for Sandy! I can't tell, I don't know who, I don't know who. Shout, shout, scream, you have to be wild and loud. Phoebe! Pat! Sandy! What do you think? Who do you think? Shout the name of the person you think you won. Sandy! Sandy, you won it, girl. Congratulations. <laughs>